That is right, Minecraft Java Edition players that want to play Minecraft Java Edition on their Android phone. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to play your legally obtained copy of Minecraft Java Edition that you play on your PC all the time on your Android device, potentially. Now, if you have a decent Android device, you'll be able to play Java Minecraft. If you have a very low end device, you'll still be able to play it, but probably lower end Java Minecraft. Make sure that you pay attention to that part. And also make sure you hit that subscribe button because I really wanna reach 1000 subscribers before the end of October, which is Halloween season. I'm gonna be going live more often now that my channel is able to. So again, subscribe, comment, share, and even jump over to my Discord. All links to this video are in the description of the video, so make sure you pay attention to that part because I don't hide any of my sources and everything you need to know is within the description of the video as well. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is navigate to the first website, which is for Xalith Launcher, which is right here. This is going to be the latest release as of today, and you're gonna click on this file right here and click on download. Now you're gonna click on open. Now your web browser might say, hey, for security reasons, we need to allow unknown sources. So click on settings, click this checkbox and click install. Now the next thing you're going to do is navigate back to your Google Chrome. So click the back icon and navigate to the next website, which is called the FCL Renderer plugin website. So scroll down here and now you're gonna click on something called mobile glues. Now, the thing about Xalith Launcher and any of these launchers on Android is they run the graphics off of renderers. Renderers that somebody else has put together so that we can play Java Minecraft on our phones. So the latest version of Mobile Glues, which is the renderer we're going to be using for anything above 1.17, is going to be the render of our choice. It's very easy to set up. Don't get scared if you're new to Android or you're new to this. Just basically follow this step. Click on APK file, click on download anyway. And now you're gonna go to your downloads because sometimes it doesn't pop up that it's been downloaded. Click on that APK, click install. Now you're going to open mobile glues. I know we haven't opened Xalith Launcher yet, but wait until we're done doing this. Click on modify render settings, click okay. Now you're going to create a folder on the root directory of your device called MG. So M. G, so like just like that, make sure it says MG. Click on use this folder, click allow. And now this is where the tricky part comes in. It's not very that trick, much tricky. It's just something that you need to understand. If you have a lower end Mali GPU device, this option right here that says prefer angle enabled or disabled, you might wanna enable it. If you have an S25 Ultra like I do or anything that's a Snapdragon 8 Gen series, you might want to disable this. Well, you definitely do because angle doesn't work well with Snapdragon devices. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna scroll all the way down, keep going and check off these two options right here. The first two options, click okay and make sure those are checked off. You don't really need to mess around with any other settings in here. Now we're gonna close out of mobile glues and we're gonna actually go and open Xalith Launcher for the very first time. Now click on Xalith Launcher and you'll be presented with this page. Click agree and install. Now wait for it to install all the necessary files and then you're gonna click allow. Now there's a Discord page on the left-hand side. If you're of legal age, you can join their Discord. Now click OK. Now click on the settings icon on the top right-hand side, click on renderer. Now you're going to see this mobile glues renderer. Now this is very important, okay? Renderers, again, are very important for the game to run. Anything below 1.17, you're gonna use GL4ES. Anything above 1.17, use mobile glues, no matter what. So I'm gonna set mobile glues as my default render. As you can see here, it says 1.17 plus. That means that you can use this render for 1.17 plus. Now you're gonna scroll down until you see something that says resolution scale. Depending on your device, depending on your device screen, depending on your device's chipset and everything like that, you might want to start off with 50%. I'm going to start off with 50%, okay? That's all I'm going to do. I know this device can handle more than that, but that's what I'm going to set it up to because I know people are very visual and they watch what I do. Now, if you find that your performance is really good, which I will do a video about that as well, then you can change that resolution scale to a higher resolution. Enable sustained performance mode is the only other option you need to check off and the rest just keep them turned off. Now go home. Now log into your Minecraft account that owns Java Minecraft. 
Your Gmail account that owns Bedrock Edition does not count. That does not work. That is not a legal way to own the game. You need to go buy it on Minecraft.net and then associate your Gmail or Hotmail or whatever with Microsoft. So we click on Microsoft account, and then we're gonna log into our Microsoft account that owns the game. And again, make sure you pay attention to that part. Now I'm logged into my Microsoft account that actually owns the game. If you don't own the game, it's going to give you an error on the screen saying you don't own the copy of Java Minecraft, you need to go buy it first. And if you do own it, then it's going to actually log you in and make sure that you own the game. The next thing we're going to do is click on no versions installed and you're going to click on install new version. Now, there's a very big tip that I'm going to show you in a more advanced video guide that is going to show you something else, but I'm just going to get us set up so that you can just play the game right off the hop. Click on the latest version as of today. Since we have mobile glues installed, we can click download, which is that little icon on the right hand side that allows us to install the game and wait for it to install. Now click on the no version installed, click on refresh, and there we go, there's the game right there. Now click launch, click on confirm, and you're going to click on allow this permission, click back, click launch game again, and wait for it to log into your Microsoft account. Now your mouse by default is going to turn on, some people might not like that, so I'm going to click on this little icon on the top right hand side of the screen that says mouse to turn that off because I don't like the mouse to be on, and as you can see a toast message pops up saying mouse has been turned off. Now you can go into your options however you want to change things, you can change anything you want. I'm going to go to fancy graphics, click done, click single player, click hard, click create new world, and you'll be on your merry way to enjoy Minecraft Java Edition on your Android phone in 2025 or beyond. And as you can see, yeah, the resolution looks kind of poopy and that's because I changed it down to 50%, but this might look okay for some people, especially when you get into things like using shaders. And yeah, you can use shaders on even lower end devices. Hey, look a cow. Did you think I did a good job today, Mr. Cow? I sure did. Have a nice day, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe once again to learn how to play Java Minecraft on your phone in 2025 and beyond with Zealoth Launcher.